Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublik on here. Welcome to some announcement times. So, I am officially employed. I have a job. I am going to be a 9 to fiver. I'm going to actually have a piggy bank filled with money. Yes, I am excited and happy to report that. It's been about a year and a half since I left Amazon and been working on this channel and working to get employed. And I've done some freelance and I've done some startup stuff and they never really stuck. And so it's really nice to have a job. Just nice. I can now work. Now, on top of that, I chose this particular job because it would give me time to do YouTube. Yes, this is my dream. Here. I love this. I want to get great at this. I want to be able to do this for a company. Do this for myself. And maybe this will be just supplemental income for my life. Or maybe it'll become main income. Whatever. I love this and it's a joy to do. So dudes, thank you for making it so. Now, let's go into something important related to that. Since I'm going to have, you know, a 40 hour a week job, this schedule is going to change. I'm going to do something less than 7 videos a week. This is the schedule idea I have and I want your opinions on it. I'm thinking 5 videos a week. 4 of them will be regular as we've been doing. Whether it's Fallout, whether it's Skyrim, these kind of role plays, whether it's however game we're playing, those. And the 5th one is going to be a stream. I don't know how the stream's gonna work, whether it'll be on Wednesday, whether it'll be on Tuesday, whether it'll be Saturday, but it will be a stream. My thought process for it is I've been wanting to talk to you more face to face, and I haven't been able to, or I haven't felt like I've been able to, because it's, whenever we would do like the faster than light thought diaries, they didn't feel like I was able to get across what I wanted to say. So, a Twitch stream, or a YouTube stream, will allow us to sit and play something together. This will also literally allow us to play something together. As in, let's play games together if you want to challenge me in Hearthstone, if we're going to be playing Overwatch, if we're going to be doing Battlefield, whatever we're playing, we can play together as a community. That sounds really fun and I would have a total joy to do that with you. Now, what are your opinions on it? Do you feel like that's too little, that's too much? Do you feel like a stream sounds like a good idea? Do you have an idea of what day you want the stream? Are you interested in playing with me on things? Because I'm interested in playing with you. And in the past, I've talked to you, some of you guys who've offered to play with me, and I've said, I just don't coordinate anything, so I don't know how we're going to get this done. Now we're going to be coordinating a time when we can all get together. So it is, in fact, possible to be doing these. So this is something that's a little bit more strategy-focused on the channel. I am a little scared about having less videos up, because then we will have less views per vi you know, kind of thing. And the thing is, is that... I want to grow the channel faster, and although it's a bummer that we're going to be having less videos up to have less viewers and that kind of thing, the channel will still grow. It will still draw attention. It's still good content, even if it's less content. And it's still constantly new content. So with that bit of information, I imagine that this is going to happen. And also, on the flip side of this coin, there is evidence to show that less videos actually increases the channel's growth. It's a really fascinating thing where if you imagine the seven days a week viewing, if all of a sudden I stop doing that, right? Cut off Sunday and Saturday, just for this example. Then what ends up happening is when a video is served up to one of the subscribers, the subscriber has it in their feed. Now if this is episode one and suddenly episode two knocks it out of the way, the subscriber may see episode two and be like, oh man, I have to watch one first and have to go find one. That action of going finding one is sort of making it difficult to actually watch one. Or, you just watch two. You don't watch one. You don't care about that. Or, it gets knocked out of the way and you quickly skip through one. There are a lot of different things what happen. Anyway, the idea is that by having a video last longer in your feed, it gets more views. If it gets more views, it will then get in better search results, which gets it found better, which makes more views. So the idea of me increasing viewerships, if we had like seven videos and each one of them got 100 views and suddenly we take that 700 views and put it on five videos, that extra like 20 videos per, is that, is that 100? So that's like 40 more views per video. Anyway, that 40 more views per video could increase the search results enough that it will actually just have each video do better, causing a better growth and potentially more views overall. It's kind of a fascinating argument to have less videos. So we'll see if that actually affects the channel or how it affects the channel. It's something that I'm kind of excited to find out because we just haven't done that experiment. 
I'm also going to be moving uh, in the next couple weeks because I have to get closer to the job that I'm applying for, excuse me, that I'm employed by. And so that's going to kind of mess up, you know, viewing and videos a little bit too, just because I have to make sure the computer's over there, it's safe, I get stuff ready in time, the internet's moved over and all that kind of thing. So I may start this new schedule sooner rather than later to kind of prepare for the moving. Also, because I want to practice some streaming before I get working on a day-to-day -day job, because streaming is hard. Although it's like, let's say it takes me an hour to film a video and an hour to edit the video, and then like 20 minutes to upload it, 30 minutes or whatever it is to prepare it, a stream is like three hours. Like an hour of preparation, and then two hours of doing, and then you do the upload and stuff. And so it's like, it's debatably more time, so it's something that I need to practice on, especially because I'm not as good at it yet. And finally, dudes, the reason why I love doing this YouTube and this channel and the reason why I chose a job that will give me the opportunity to continue to work on this is because of you. Like, you have made this experience so fun, so interesting, so joyous, so challengingly interesting. And it's why I want to make it a real thing. It's why I still love it is because of working with you. So... It's something that has blown my mind away that we have been able to grow to almost 2,000 subs now and to be able to work with you and to now to like to sit down and to have a career and a plan like a, this is the first time in my life that someone could ask me what do you see yourself doing in five years that I can say I'm going to be doing this that I can say comfortably that I'm going to try to keep doing this you know like and that I have a job that will let me continue to do this. And it's a plan and it's a set. And although you can't predict perfectly how everything's going to be, I can now see my growth graph. I can kind of watch it and kind of make a prediction on what my future might look like. And it's because of you. It's because of you guys watching and commenting and interacting. You've provided motivation and joy through this. And it's thank you. Just from the bottom of my heart, into my lungs, into my toes, from the bottom of me, I am honored and thank you so much for watching and being a part of this. I hope you will stay a part of this as we move into this new schedule, as we move into this new step of job, trying to figure out how to get it to run well with this YouTube channel, and note that it will, I will find a way to make it work, and we'll find some way. Anyway, once again, thank you so much for watching. It has been a joy to talk to you. You are the best. So, thank you so much again. May the ground rise to meet your feet. May the wind always be at your back. And may the sun shine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. Dudes, see you later.